man. Uh, welcome back to Texas First Off, man. Um, yeah, let's start, let's start off with the Rangers, man. Your fondest memory uh, as a Texas Ranger? Uh, closing the old one down and opening the new one, I guess, would be my fondest one. You know, uh, but no, both stadiums are beautiful. Both stadiums have have good memories for me. Um, dating back to early in my career, obviously being drafted, being shown the stadium on the other side by the Rangers, and then being able to get to the big leagues pitch for them. You know, obviously later on in my career than I wanted to, but you know, it was good. Those memories come back every time I come in. All right, and can I take you back to the World Series, Atlanta Braves? What was that just whole experience like? And man, the parade, just the, every that whole experience. I mean, it was something. You, Words can't describe it. Uh, the, the the city's incredible. The way they treat their the players, the way they, they get behind the, the behind the sports, whether it's football, it's basketball, it's baseball, they show up every night and give us the, the vibes that we need to go out there and, and perform. And that night we had it, that season we had it, and everything happened to fall into play. You know, with with how Hank, you know, his passing and the way we how we you know had to come around Ronnie's injury at the All Star break and, and just how we had to grind and, and grow together. I think we, that's the biggest thing that stands out to me besides the, the parade and all that fun stuff that happened, but it was just how we all grew together as a team. And Spencer Strider, what is it like to see that young man throw baseballs? It's incredible. <laughs> it's incredible. Watching, watching him uh, throw slingshots all day long, it's, it's pretty fun. Yeah, but he, the way he does it, the way he goes about his business is, is way better than what you see on the mound, in my opinion. Uh, being an older guy, seeing what he does, how he goes about his business, watching what he does how attention to detail oriented he is. It's pretty incredible to see that young age and getting thrown into the fire in the rotation last year with what we had on the line, um, you know, being 13 games behind the Mets last year, watching that and just take that rotation spot with stride and no pun intended on the name, but <laughs> it was fun watching and it's still fun watching every day and he's got a bright future ahead of him. I love that, I love that. And kind of this, on the same lines, Ronald Acuna Jr., when you see him doing what he's doing right now, what is that like? Is, is there enough said about that, about him? Oh, I'm getting to see what they got to see when he first came up, you know what I mean? I mean, he had the injury when I first got here back right. in 21, and then, you know, you don't know what's going to happen, you know, after the injuries, and you, you could see he was getting back into the swing of things last year, and now that he had a full, healthy offseason, I mean, you're starting to see what he was before the injury, and it's pretty special. All right, Justin, man, well, I really appreciate the time, and uh, best of luck the rest of the way. Appreciate it, thank you.